The time is finally here. A lot of you requested this video, so we're gonna finally do this today. Hallelujah. So on this bike, obviously to get access, you have to remove the fairings. And what you're looking for is the lowest point where you can disconnect the coolant line. And that would be down here by the water pump. That's the lowest point. Because let's say if you take out this hose right here, all the coolant that's underneath here won't come out. And in this case, you can use a Phillips for this hose clamp or you can use a size six. So I'm gonna go with a socket because uh, the screwdriver, they always want to slip on you. And because the hose is stuck, I'm gonna use my trick that I always like to use. I got this pick tool. Be careful not to damage the hose. Okay, now I know that's gonna come off. So I'm gonna come back here and remove the cap. This way it doesn't have a vacuum in the coolant system. Real broskis, we're back over here in the war zone and here we go. It's gonna make a mess problem, yeah? Okay, now we're gonna put this hose back on. Just like that, we tighten the clamp. Don't go too crazy, you don't wanna strip this because it could strip easy. You're gonna feel it when it's tight. That's pretty tight right there. Okay, and when you do that, obviously the next step is to fill up the cooling system, but there is a trick to it. You don't just fill it up and call it a day. There is a little trick to it, a little detail. And I'm gonna be using this coolant here. There is a variety of coolant, but as long as it's uh, for motorcycles, you're gonna be good. Now that trick I was talking about, what you wanna do is pour the coolant slowly. This way, air doesn't get trapped inside the cooling system and it has to be bled more. So just go nice and slow. This way you minimize the air bubbles entering. One eternity later. Okay guys, once you filled it up, nice and easy, we installed the cap, make sure it seats. And because it has a spring, you gotta push it down and turn it and make sure it is seated. Now the next step is you gotta lean the bike side to side. To release any trapped air and start the bike up, bring it to operating temperature. This way the cooling system is gonna be working and any air that's in there, it's gonna bleed to the top. And of course, make sure you have coolant in the expansion tank if you do have one. Okay, the bike is fully warmed up. I'm gonna go have some breakfast, let it cool down. When I come back and it's cooled down, I'm gonna recheck if I have to add any more antifreeze. And I'm gonna repeat the step one or two times more to expel any trapped air in the cooling system. All right guys, one hour went by. The bike is still a little bit warm. It's not like blazing hot. But you can see here, I sucked up the coolant from the expansion tank so that's good that means it needed more coolant and it sucked it up from here so now i'm gonna fill up the expansion tank and there is a, a minimum and maximum so if you go here you can see the top line is the full and the bottom one is the low so you want to go on the full line this is many 
Se voi olla, että sen auto pelata maistosora. Mm. Kannattaa, että se valmistuu. <laughs> okay, I got the expansion tank on the full. So now I'm gonna restart the bike, let it warm up, just like before, and check it again. Okay guys, the bike cooled off. I'm gonna make sure the radiator is full here. So is the expansion tank, this is full. So we are good. I double check my work here, make sure the clamp is tight, there's no leakage. That is good, I also cleaned up the gunk here from the chain. Now the coolant I used is pre-mix with water so you don't have to add water and of course I'm gonna have all the links below in the description of the video and this job should be done every two years that's what the owner's manual recommends every two years drain the coolant and this is a really easy job to do the hardest part is to remove the fairings speaking of the fairings so this is the right side fairing so on this part here there is a clip right here this uh, titty thingy, and that one goes into here. So once you take the bolts out, really what you have to do is pull up on this part to unhook it. And then you pull the whole thing outwards after you take all the bolts, of course. Because there's also three more thingies that clip in the rubber grommets. There's a, a clippy tab right here that one is located in here where that hole is i've done a couple of videos uh, showing how to remove those that's why i'm not um gonna show this in detail and yeah like i said the hardest thing of the job is to remove the fairings but other than that it's uh really simple all right guys i hope you enjoyed this one now the next video i have a brand new bike it is sitting outside right now I'm gonna do a unveil. So I will see you in the next video and I can't wait to show you what I got. I'm pretty excited. Wow.